one thing I learned about and still am learning about myself is I have to write everything down. I cannot depend on my memory. As I'm doing this, I'm just thinking about, okay, the materials go so well with what I'm designing right now. Just the way the materials look by themselves where I don't have to alter them that much. That's something I'm trying to do with this piece as far as the experiment. It's all part of it. it it'll hit me. It, it will. I like to keep mixing things up you know, and not stay bound to one thing that will lead me into another. That's that's where the shapes come come about for the most part. I'll just let my brain figure it out for me. You know, I'll just without any thought, just take whatever's around me and just trace around it and make some form something that is intriguing and just add on top of it and just build and build. The design will come about that way. I like to mix it up. I don't like to, you know, start an idea from the same kind of formula in a way. Like, I think it will go one way and then something else will pop in my mind. It's like, oh, it could work actually better a little this way. And it seems like Horizontal is the direction I'm gonna go in this uh, shape, the way it's looking. What's different about my work now, as opposed to what it was college, my college career and below, is that I was figuring myself out as a creator, knowing what design or what material usage works for me. And that's something that I was figuring out a lot in college and a lot of work that was very experimental came out of that. And my work now, there's more of like, kind of very focused direction. Like I have a, a vision, a more focused vision on what my work is now. Now, cause I have a better understanding of where I'm going and I can keep evolving it and keep changing it and keep refreshing it at the same time, still sticking to the theme. So I found my artistic identity, I would say more now. That it's all a big universe of just shapes and different ideas behind those shapes. And all these shapes having their own identities, their own look to them. You know, they they'll take you one place and then they'll take you another place, you know, because they're all opposite from each other and they all have their own meaning. And it's good that, you know, there's an audience where it's for everyone. Some pieces could have some significance to one person and another piece could have a significant meaning to another individual. So yeah, it's universal in ideas because I believe that, you know, art is for everyone. Everybody should have some cool experience viewing art or experiencing art in whatever way that is. Working with High Burning Hall, this is new territory for me. Just showing the constant evolution of these shapes and showing that that's just this constant morphing nature to my artwork. It made me want to inspire others to get creative. And that's my goal is to inspire others to be creative. For this showing that I'm about to have, that's coming up soon, which is a tight deadline. And I think that's where the intimidating part comes in with these designs that I have in mind is, all right, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. I know it's gonna take a while, that's what I'm anticipating, but I know I can pull it off. Based off what I did previously, I know I can pull it off. It's con the feeling of confidence overall, emb embracing that challenge, that's that's just what keeps me going, it keeps you know the, uh, the artwork looking more and more elaborate and more and more complex. How I want people to think about, uh, you know, what it's like working with their hands is that it's this feeling of just like satisfying, yes, to put something together correctly or being able to fix. It makes you, you know, when you can fix something, you know you can fix something, it just, it's like a confidence boost and you're making your life better, you know, and when it comes to building something or you're making someone else's life better, 
and you're building for other people. You know, I've seen that a lot, you know, working with my dad and his brother and his other guys that he um, works with on homes or other construction projects is that it's just, it, you know, it's this way of helping others that you know, it's very rewarding. Drop man. You know, I just you know saw all these different you know materials. Now you know just get that same kind of brand of materials. So I'm looking for that that finish and that uh, you know, that quality. This one, they're always us, but not today. Grab as many as I can. And this is what I used to create the, uh, the kind of styling, the picture frame styling, and different molding. And this is like, you know, it creates trim that you see around windows and doors. You know, these are the bits to do it, to create that magic. I don't have this one. This is a cool one, a Diablo. My materials, it's more for the decorative uh, part of my work. Uh, this is more of just getting my tools in line so they can get the best uh, cuts and uh, best uh, surface. All right, and I need jigsaw blades. So there's two types of jigsaw blades that I get. This is finished wood, so it's nice and clean cuts. And then when I do any rough cuts, I use these. And as you can see, the rough cuts, the teeth are, are further apart from each other. Where the finished cut, the teeth are closer together, so you get a nice, clean, you know, cut. It's music. There's so many, you can make, you know, songs about anything, arrange the songs in any way. I mean, it's very unlimiting, and that's what I find in this work that I do. Yeah, it's just total exploration, because creativity can carry your life, you know, in whatever way that may be, in whatever direction of creativity you want to go in. And it's what it's what we need, it, you know, entertainment. That's what humans need. And, and that's what I want to do is entertain people. Showing through other spaces, you know, galleries, Hibernian Hall, you know, helping me get more exposure and getting my work out there a lot. That support is very crucial for just being an artist in general, like having spaces, availability. That frequently I'm someone who just bounces from place to place to place to place, you know, just trying to get my work out there as much as possible, you know, far reaching where I live. But I know there's a common thread of like great enthusiasm for my work that I've noticed throughout me showing through various places. I feel blessed through all the support that I had over the years, you know, through my family, friends, and people that I've come across over the years through my artistic journey. It's a reminder to just keep working hard, you know, and like, and just keep going and just don't stop because look what happens when you keep going. Look at the opportunities that open up for you when you keep going. And to be where I am now, when I think about where I was seven years ago when I decided to start making art again, to where I am now, it's like, yeah, working hard does make a difference. <laughs> it, it, it truly does wonders.